morning again well another shift round of junk put my table back in the window so I can have a bit of room so I've got to make a mount before I can run this engine it's horizontal got to make a mount normally you know you can't just stick it on a bit of wood on the bench and knock a nail into hold it before I can run it so anyway I don't know if you can see that but uh, I've managed to make a a different speed control system it is simple it's just a screw there and I drilled a hole in I used that nice one but I had to put a nut at the back because it was too floppy anyway that's done and we've got the engine built look it's looking all right got it all finished there's just the cover to go on and the obviously the air cleaner just there that goes on the top but it's it's um it's quite all right there's one two little bits of paint come off but it's it's not too bad so I've got to knock up this mount now to hold it. There's my plans look. So all I've got to do is to mark it, just draw a circle around there and cut it out. I hope I've got it about central because the engine doesn't actually sit central. It's, uh, I don't know if you can see that way. It's longer on the right hand side and the left you can probably just see there it's not quite in the middle so I think we've got it somewhere near anyway so we've got to do that before we can progress any further but it's come all right hasn't it well I managed to have another hour on the engine later today and I've made the mounting board I'm going to use split plywood but it's strong enough and it'll do the job um, and it, it'll look alright actually I think so I've cut the circle out and I mounted it I think I've got it in about the right place what I'm ho I'm still unsure what to do for the the bottom to be honest it would look alright with this I've got some board there look and if you put that up like that <coughs> obviously cut the length and screw that on there like that and then cut some feet on the end and probably a bit of decoration in the middle that would look alright but it's just a tiny bit weak I'm still still unsure what to do with that I've got some uh, lengths of nice thick wood with two of those screwed on so, so I don't know yet I think I'll use those but I'm, I'm unsure anyway I've uh, also decided to I'm changing the switch I decided this a while ago and I've got that switch there um, it's alright I've checked it on the meter and it works well it works most of the time it's just a stop switch I only got to earth it out so what I've done I just took the coil off and you can't see it at all I haven't got a cover on that but uh, I'm sure it'll be alright and that will go on the switch I've used some old car wiring loom because I haven't got any spade connectors left and then that one will just have to go on the switch to earth I mean it, you know, it's simple it's, just the, it's simplicity itself isn't it I'm getting tongue tied now so I just took the coil off and did that and I thought the switch would look good and there's room in the centre of the cover there about there so we might just have a go at that I don't know but I think that's uh, I could put it there but I think that seems to be the place for it so all I've got to do is put it central like that there and uh, all I've got to do is drill a hole and put that in and wire it up and also by the way um, I haven't put this on I don't know if you can see it but that silver I just held it and at uh, quite a distance and misted a bit of silver over it so it's got like silver speckled silver on it I think that doesn't look too bad actually so that's what I've done so far. But what I really want to show you, and I'm not quite organised, am I? Let me know. What a surprise. Right, what I want to show you in, in important today is when it's finished 
Um, people varnish things. Well, that's very wrong, of course. Sorry, I've got the switch on the camera. Never mind. Right, what I want to show you, it's important this, when people do these projects, especially woodwork, by the way, I've, I've uh, trimmed the edges and sanded that all down, it's all ready. But just to show you a small bit, all you need to do, you want linseed oil, or even, uh, where is it, here we are, I've moved my stuff around. Linseed oil and furnish podge, or even teak oil, because teak oil shines. And a friend with a boat, for instance, he hits hardwood on the side of his boat. Oh dear. Now I can't get the top of the linseed oil, isn't it? Very well, I mean. Mm. It's stuck. I haven't used it for a while. God, it's stuck. Got it. Right, if you hear me grunting, I'm behind the camera, but never mind. Right, if you just get a bit of rag, that'd be clean. Now you watch this. Because, what's the difference? Look at that. And this is not really fancy wood is it you can put plenty on it won't matter it's very very dry this wood but look how it brings that grain out it really makes it look nice and put plenty on just rub it in well like that and even the edges i'm sure you can see but even the edges come all right and then just a bit of furniture polish on the end. But look at the difference. I mean, you can see it there, look. You see? And it brings the grain out. You can get in all these. As I say, it's a bit slippery and plowing on the end. I've sanded it up well, but it's uh, it can't be avoided. You know? But it's what I've got. And it'll make a decent mount. Only other sound still slightly undecided. So there we are. I hope you can see the difference. Well, I'm sure you, you can see the difference. I'm looking through the viewfinder. So we've got that to do. And then uh, when it's finished, and I'll decide on the other bits later, but the only problem is pine doesn't tend to soak up linseed oil very well. But that, and then let it dry in for a day or two and furniture polish on it, and it will look stunning. It really will. So that's what we're doing. Um, I don't think there's much else I can show you actually. It's not much point me showing you drilling a hole in the cover, is there? And doing that switch, which is the next thing, and then I can put the coil back on the engine and the top back on. And then the engine's completely finished. So there we are, it's going to be a really short video today, I've no doubt, but uh, you know, hopefully you've learned a little bit. Alright, bye. Right, got the switch fitted. Now look, see, like I say, it's a tiny bit intermittent switch, it didn't always connect, but it got to unconnect, so it won't stop it running, hopefully. And there we are, finished. There's the engine. Finished. Um, just got to bolt it down that and finish the mount. You know, put petrol oil in it. You never know, it might even go. Anyway, there we are. So, that's it. That's it. We've just got the mount to do tomorrow. I, I packed up today because it was a, a bit hot and sweaty, to be honest. And so, um, but it's not looking too bad, is it? I don't think. It's not bad for nothing, is it? Because I really haven't, uh, I really haven't had to buy anything for it. Even a little bit of electric, of course, but uh, even the petrol I bought for another engine. So, and I've left it as long as possible. I'll just see what you think. I can always cut a bit off that before I do it, but I think it wants to be that length to be stable at all. I'm going to have to make some pegs to go in the ground. Anyway, there we are. So we'll. See if we can finish the mount tomorrow, and then we'll see if it runs. Alright, that'll do for today, won't it?